Good evening. Welcome to worship, our service of Holden Evening Prayer. If you've not had a chance to worship with Holden, welcome. We're glad you're here. And I'll just talk through briefly the service this day. We'll follow the booklets. There are two covers. It's the same songs. So we'll be gathering soon. I'll invite you in a moment to face the cross. We'll enter with a service of light, paying attention to Jesus Christ, the light of the world. We'll continue in song through our evening hymn, and then an evening thanksgiving, and then we'll continue with a psalm. There'll be two parts sung together. You can follow the leader who's standing in front of your section as we let our prayers rise before God like incense. We'll then have a time of scripture and reflection and silence. In that time, I invite you to de- de- breathe deeply, listen to God's word, and enter into a reflective silence. Our service continues then with the Annunciation, with the Magnificat. We'll have soloists leading in the beginning, and then we'll all join in song. We have a time of prayers, and that portion is broken into a a humming and a response. God of mercy, hold us in love. And then we conclude with prayer. So you can follow along, join in singing, and enter into this time and space. Thank you for being here tonight. Blessings on this Advent season. We'll have an uh, longest night prayer service on December 21st. It's a Thursday night at 7 p.m. You're all welcome to that as well. Blessings. Please stand and face the cross. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. us now for it is evening. Let your light scatter the Blessed are you, creator. 
center of the universe. From old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright. For your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from Genesis. A reading from Genesis, chapter 12. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred your, and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of your great, great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great so that you will be a blessing.
From Genesis, chapter 15. God brought Abraham outside and said, Look towards heaven and count the stars. If you are able to count them, then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, and the Lord reckoned it to him as righteousness. reading from Kate Bowler's devotional, Bless the Advent We Actually Have. She writes, Life is so beautiful. Life is so hard for everyone. That was one of my biggest realizations after I got sick. I needed so much help, financially, emotionally, physically, and I would not have made it through without the compassion of strangers and friends. Pain can make narcissists out of the best of us. It demands all of our time and attention and very quickly becomes the loudest voice in the room. How easy it is to forget. Forget there is someone turning on and off the stars. Forget that the sun rises and sets without us having to remind it to. Forget there's someone who makes each snowflake unique. Forget that there is one who provides the rain and knows when a single sparrow falls from the sky. Matthew 10, 29. These tiny miracles can be reminders to us that God holds the world together, not us. It reminds us that God created the whole world and we are dependent on God. And thank God for that, because we might be having trouble with regular problems instead. Making doctors and insurance paperwork make sense. Navigating complicated relationships with family around the holidays. And just remembering to take the trash out on the right day of the week. Hope is found in knowing that even though it feels like the world is coming undone in my time and maybe in my life situation, the truth is that the sun keeps rising every day and the stars still shine at night. The whole world shines hope upon us every day. We are just like Abraham in Genesis 12 called out of our comfortable worlds into a hope for a future we cannot yet see. We must trust God to show us the beauty and promises of the bigger story as we try to count the stars. A blessing by Kate Bowler, for waking up to life again. Blessed are we, beginning to feel some release from the crippling fear we've grown far too accustomed to, from the drawn-out season of anxious vigilance, from the boredom and frustration of plans deferred. Winter's long frost will be over, new grounds will appear, and paths, too, that we didn't know were there. Blessed are we who need help waking up to the music, the movement, the color of living, who need help trying on joy for a change, the wonder of the daffodil, the mystery and power of the tiniest seed cracked open and sprouting new life, reaching in its own time toward the light, blooming. Blessed are we who say, 
Wake me to God. Put me where beauty and love can reach me. I'm ready for something new. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God's most high. And Mary said, servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me
and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. 